Welcome back to the Morning Blend, where we are launching a brand new way for you to get legal answers, and it has never been easier. Yeah, it's Legally Speaking with the McClario Firm. Al Spiegel from the McClario Firm joins us now to chat about this partnership with TMJ4 and our website, too. This is exciting. Yeah. It is exciting. Another, another new way to reach people in a way that isn't kind of threatening or overwhelming to them. Just yeah, give them a chance. People have so many questions, and it, legal advice can seem very difficult to access. Absolutely, very kind of lofty and intimidating and really a lot of times people have pretty basic questions that they want answered, at least in the off in the outset, and then we figure out where it goes from there. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the basic questions that you might hear often? Sure, probably the most common ones I get are, can they do that? You know, something happened to me. Uh, are they allowed to do that? My yes. brother did this. You know, the, the bank told me this. Is that allowed? Or something happened to me and what are my rights? What do I, how do I get to respond to that? What are, you know, do I have to go to court? Can I talk to someone? The insurance company called, kind of that sort of stuff. How do I respond right now? Yeah, and you know, I think that's one of the most challenging things because people often think they've done the wrong thing. So they've been hurt in a car accident or injured at work and the timing's off. Like, are there certain things? I think people worry, should I have done this rather than this mm -hmm. to make my case better? Right, well, and there are some big forks in the road in all different areas of law or if you kind of choose the wrong direction, I'm I'm big on the uh, crime dramas right now and the interrogations. Yeah. Yeah. Ask for a lawyer right away. Do that. Don't yep. just start talking. It's never going to end up well for you. Right. Especially if you did it. But you know, that's a whole different story. <laughs> but that kind of thing. You know, there is a big fork in the road where if you make a right choice, you're going to put yourself in a much better situation. And the same applies in estate planning or personal injury or anything like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love hearing that from a lawyer yeah. of what what's good and bad right. about crime dramas. Because right. exactly. you often hear it about medical shows from right. doctors like none of that's right. right so it's nice to know there's something right oh, gosh, yes. about the crime ones <laughs> yep. what do you think prevents people from getting the answers that they need or are looking for immediately right well i think the way that lawyers kind of market themselves we want to show ourselves to be competent and yeah. aggressive and all these things but those are kind of intimidating especially when you're at an emotional low you see these sort of caricatures of people on commercials and you're like yeah. i don't know if i want to talk to that guy he seems kind of strange <laughs> Right. I just want to talk to a normal human being and you don't know where to access one. And lawyers are busy. We aren't just sitting around kind of at a phone panel waiting for the phone to ring. We're helping other clients. So it can be a little bit of a process to get in touch with somebody. Yeah, yeah I think that's such a good point and an, an acknowledgement of, of people's perceptions. So let's talk about legally speaking. Um, this mm -hmm. is an, an idea, this is a way to make it easier for people to get answers to some basic questions from a legal expert. Right, yeah, I, a couple of months ago, I had a chance to do an old-fashioned call-in show, and this is kind of the modern version of that. We're gonna put, okay. put some information out, and people can send in their questions, and who knows what we're gonna get, but we're gonna try to see what's on people's mind, what's kind of the temperature, what, where can we help people, and direct them to the right places. We're not gonna be reviewing people's contracts over the internet, we're not gonna be doing specific <laughs> stuff, but mm -hmm. just those initial steps to get them on the right track. So how does it work? Is this like a chat box or what is it? Yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be like a Facebook page that gets set up yep. and people are going to be able to watch the most recent video and then give us feedback. Tell us what you'd like to hear next. If you have follow-ups about that video, let us know and we'll mm -hmm. be we'll be in contact with people to say, "Okay, here's here's what we think or here's where you can go next." We're not sending anybody a, anybody a bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, they're not billable hours. Right, exactly. <laughs> now, if you come in our office and hire us, then we'll send you a bill. <laughs> but that's a different story. So, just a just a chance for people to ask something. You know, a lot of times, one of the kind of challenging things about being a lawyer, probably like being a doctor, is you go to parties and people can ask you. <laughs> God knows what yeah. at a party. Oh, yeah, I You're going to get cornered <laughs> yep. immediately. I, yes. went, I went to a class reunion and ended up talking to somebody's <laughs> husband about his child support case for the whole time. And it was, you know, I, I hope it helped him. It was fine. It, saved, it was one awkward conversation instead of 20. So yeah, it was fine. fair. But this is, this is a way to do that. Kind of be informal. Tell us what's on your mind, and we'll give you some, some direction. So how does it work, then? Is it via email? Because part of this includes a QR code. So right. people, um, you can mm -hmm. see it there on your screen. You can actually to use there. your phone yep, <laughs> to, to, to take advantage of it. Right, yeah, so it'll, it'll get an email uh, or a message or whatever to the station, they'll send it to us and we'll respond. And either we'll respond directly to you and call you and say, here's what we think. Because sometimes we get questions that aren't sort of widely applicable, but we'll yeah. at least contact you. Or if it's something we think a lot of people might want to hear about, that could be the subject of the next kind of episode. 
Nice. So, okay, uh, on the Facebook page, there's going to be these episodes where you guys are choosing the topic. Correct. Does the question have to pertain to that topic, and what's your first topic? No, I expect that most of them won't. And the, okay. first, the first topic is how do I choose the right lawyer? Okay. So that's why I'm here, so people can see yeah. me right here. Here's the, no, <laughs> Here's the yeah, because <laughs> you're right. Uh, like, a lot of people will think, like you said, oh, I got in an accident, so I have to call a specific accident lawyer that I've seen or whatever. But you can talk to different kinds of lawyers about a lot of different kinds of things. Absolutely. And you'll point them in the right direction. Right. And some Sometimes people will come to me thinking they need one thing, and it turns out that their real issue is something a little different. Look at y'all, you guys. There we are. Looking good. Oh, so, yep. Looking smart. Yeah, right yeah. in the middle there is Brooke Houston. She's coming on next in a couple of months. Oh, so nice. She's going to make her debut. Yep. Do you all have specialties, or are you all sort of, uh, you know, broad, I don't know the word, yeah, broad-based lawyers? Yeah. So, <laughs> so we are a general practice firm, okay. but each of us has our own sort of topic areas that we spend most okay. of our time in. So a lot of us have done different areas, but have kind of settled into one. And what's your, do you do mostly estate planning? Yep, almost all estate planning now. Okay. Yep. That's an important well, one. It is. I think people are going to have a lot of questions <laughs> about that. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah good of course. to see you. Thanks for good information. We're excited yeah. about this new partnership. So are we. All right, so here, we'll tell you how to use it, right? If you've got questions for the McClario firm, what you do is scan that QR code on your screen. So you hold up your phone's camera to it right now. Then you click on it. Um, you can also go to the website tmj4.com slash legally speaking. And that's where you'll find more. And as always, they offer free consultations. So you can always ask your questions and see where you should go from there. Absolutely. Thanks, Al. Very exciting. All right.